I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett, coaching you to work faith positive and increase your faith with greater joy at work so you love God and others more. This week, we're talking about how you can do good all year long. Paul writes to the Galatians, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we'll reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Did you notice a couple of months ago that everybody at work was just in a good mood? Christmas music was playing, decorations glittered and glowed. They were all so much more generous than they are now. (laughs) Donations were given to the local food pantry. Christmas cards and gifts were sent out to clients. But what about now? Not so much. So how do you keep that Christmas spirit going? How do you do good all year long? Paul says we all get tired of doing what's good. Makes sense based on our experience, right? I mean, your eyes bugged out like a cartoon characters when your credit card bill came after Christmas. You announced a belt tightening plan for your family beginning now. And yet, you know, the biggest indebtedness, it's emotional. Psychologists call it compassion fatigue. The never ending stories of so many people who need help parade themselves to your desk or your station every single day. A child has cancer, a family's home burned, a parent died. All of these things are hard. And it's normal to feel overwhelmed emotionally and underfunded financially. First, Paul says, acknowledge you experience compassion fatigue. Paul says, second, that you, me, and everyone else wants a blessing. You want to receive your faith positive lifestyle to be both blessed and blessing. I met with a client in her Starbucks office, free Wi-Fi, right? To learn more about her startup. Well, a former client of mine stopped and spoke with me for a moment, which gave my client I was with that day a chance to check her voicemail. When she came back to the table, she was smiling ear to ear and said, well, I'll always remember this meeting. I just got my first contract. What a blessing. Everyone wants those, right? Paul says these blessings begin as doing good to others. You do good at work as you reach out and help others, whether it's for a cleaner, healthier workspace or project management software that saves time and energy. Your work of doing good is a seed that cultivated well produces a harvest. You get the contract. Now, it takes a concerted effort and coordination of energy and resources to keep planting seeds continually. That's why Paul says, thirdly, that you must keep going in doing good to get those blessings. Rather than give up, you give on. The amazing reality that just defies spreadsheet logic is that as you give on, you receive. And Paul says, at just the right time, we'll reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. The right time now is unpredictable. It's a blessing shows up when you least expect it. It's the fruit of your previous doing good. At other times, you give and you give to the point of compassion fatigue and wonder if a blessing is ever coming. Then it exceeds your dreams when it arrives. So continue to do good beyond Christmas. Discover ways to sow goodness into the lives of your customers and clients, your teammates and your vendors, and just keep planting goodness and know that someday, Someday soon, at just the right time, you will reap a harvest of blessing, which increases your faith with greater joy in your work, so you'll love God and others more. Coaching you to work faith positive today, I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett. Catch every episode of Faith Positive TV when you subscribe to the Faith Positive YouTube channel.